Imagine a world where you grew up and know, and at the same time familiar with all the continents. And then all of a sudden, the continent you live in starts to split into two separate continents and a new ocean is formed in between. This is not a bedtime story, nor is it a work of fiction. This is a geological event that is actually happening right before our eyes on the continent of Africa. A new ocean is being formed in Africa. Where in Africa is this happening? How is this happening? Is it even possible? Well, in this video, we are going to uncover the mystery of the splitting of the African continent and the formation of the new ocean. Let us travel to East Africa, to the country of Kenya, where one part of the Great Rift Valley is found. Scientists have been doing exploration activities in this area and it was discovered that Kenya is slowly and gradually splitting at the Rift Valley. Geologists confirmed this and stated that the continent of Africa as we know will soon become two separate continents with an ocean in between. This is actually something that started a long time ago, as far back as 2005, but geologists were unsure. It started in the Ethiopian desert with the 35 miles long rift which is the origin of the new ocean. According to the Geophysical Research Letters Journal, recent studies brought together seismic data from the evolution of the rift and it clearly showed that it is caused by similar processes found on the ocean floor. The African and Arabian tectonic plates have been gradually moving apart from each other for about 30 million years. These movements are what resulted in the division and the creation of the Red Sea. It is something that takes a very long time to happen. It usually splits about a fraction of an inch every year. But this one is happening too fast. If you are still watching this video, it means you love it. Why not take a second and hit the like button? Have you done that? Let's move on. Geologists that have been studying Africa's tectonic plates have confirmed that Africa's 54 countries are being divided and will soon have two motherlands. The East African Rift passes across Mozambique from northern Ethiopia and separates countries like Kenya and Tanzania from the rest of the continent. In a new study in the Nature Journal, it has been discovered that the two pieces of land are moving apart at a rate of about 7 millimeters a year, and in the nearest future, countries like Zambia and Uganda will have their own coastlines. Scientists revealed that the currently active volcanoes in East Africa, such as the Old Doinyo Lengai, located in Tanzania, and the Alu Dalapilla, found in Ethiopia, gives new insights to this study every single day. The Erta Ale volcano in Ethiopia has particularly been erupting non-stop for over 50 years now due to a number of different subsurface occurrences around it which may also be resulting in the Earth's divide. Geologists studying this site also pointed out that the Victoria microplate, which is the biggest on Earth, is tucked between each side of the rift and for the past two years has been rotating against the clock. You may be wondering at this point how the Earth's movements can lead to something as big as the ocean. Well, if you have an idea of how continents were formed, or you have heard of the term continental drift, you will realize that the Earth has certain movements that shouldn't be ignored when noticed. A PhD student at the School of Earth and Environment at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom, Christopher Moore, stood close to a lava lake at the peak of a massive volcano and had a view of the red haze of lava flow a few kilometers away. It appeared unusual and something didn't sit right. He knew such behaviors are the first signs of tectonic transitions right away. Standing on it in the next 5 million, 50 million, or 100 million years to come, the view will be much more different. The few millimeter changes that are observed today while standing on the mountain would have drastically changed into something larger. The Afar region in Ethiopia is among the very few places on Earth whose surface resemble that of the moon. This dry and desolate section of eastern Africa, which is pressed up against the Red Sea, is covered in lava formed from the rifting of the continent. At the intersection of the Nubian, Somali, and Arabian tectonic plates, the Afar region is home to a triple junction. They all converge beside Djibouti and Eritrea, forming a massive Y on the Earth's surface. It has a southern opening that extends more than 6,000 kilometers into the heart of Africa at the Great Rift Valley. The Sinai Peninsula is where the Red Sea extends to the northwest and to the east stretches an oceanic spreading ridge known as the Aden Ridge. 
This tectonic twist signifies that the African continent is tearing itself apart. The Somali plate, which is part of eastern Africa, has been peeling away from the rest of the continent for 30 years now, thereby creating the Rift Valley, which begins in Ethiopia and Eritrea, separating around the Kenyan Dome until it meets again in the Malawi Rift. It is possible to trace the rifting continent on a map by studying the chain of lakes like Tanganyika and Nyasa, which line the bottom of the Great Rift Valley. Simultaneously, the Arabian Plate has been drifting apart from Africa as the Red Sea Rift widens at a rate of about one centimeter yearly. It is predicted that in the nearest future, the Arabian Plate will stop being in motion when it bangs into the Eurasian Plate in what is currently Iran, becoming part of Eurasia as it closes the Persian Gulf. The Afar region finds itself at the center of all these changes that seem to be splitting the continent and creating a new ocean basin. Some of the largest volcanoes on Earth have been created by the Afar region's tectonic twist through bimodal volcanism. Lining the Great Rift Valley is a mix of vast lava flows of basalt and silica-rich massive explosives. Massive basaltic shield volcanoes such as Erta Ale lie close to the Red Sea to the north while the south is dominated by Ethiopia's massive Corbetti Caldera, one of the most unsafe volcanoes on the planet. Farther into Africa, there are oddities like the carbonatite spewing Old Donyo Lengai in Tanzania to the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo's massive twin volcanoes of Nyamurajia and Nyiragongo to the west. All of these volcanoes contribute to the active rifting underneath eastern Africa. One explanation for why the Afar region is such a hub for rifting and spreading is that the region has been heated from below by the Afar plume which caused the African continent to rise and split, developing rift valleys. More like how 80 million years ago, the North Atlantic Ocean opened, indicating that there is a link between a large mantle plume and the development of new continental rifts, and subsequently two continental margins separated by seafloor spreading at ocean ridges. It has been discovered that Erta Ale is still in a transitional phase and so, in the next 5 million years, the transition to an oceanic spreading center will be very noticeable when the area develops. Another sign will be the presence of shallow magma bodies under the active portions of the rifts, while an extended signal will be the formation of magnetic stripes on the borders as lava erupts and holds captive the state of the Earth's magnetic field. However, the switch to an oceanic spreading center in all cases will be gradual. Currently, the region seems to be showing the shallow magma storage sign even though the development of a true oceanic crust in the region has not been seen. Therefore, the future of tectonics in the Afar region is unclear, and so it cannot be exactly stated when the region will become an oceanic spreading center, or whether an ocean basin will form between the Somali and Nubian plates and how spreading in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will proceed. Records show that the Earth's formation has been put at 4.5 billion years ago by geologists, after which comes the continental crust, 3.2 billion years ago, and then the continental shelf, which began forming when the melting rocks underneath the Earth's surface pushed through the columns onto the Earth, resulting to the supercontinent. It is said tectonic plates are in a state of flux, with some moving against each other along fault zones. While some plates crashed against each other, some were falling beneath one another, while others are tearing apart from each other with divergent plate boundaries, leading to the development of the continents we have today, which are Africa, Europe, Asia, South America, North America, and Australia. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to let us know how you feel in the comment section. And of course, hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing content.